Fall is a perfect time to get out on the Mississippi River. We tracked many miles on the water to find some amazing fish. We got ourselves some giant schooling largemouth bass. Oh, let's go! Along with some nice winged down walleye. It's a nice walleye. Be sure to stay tuned for this one because you are not going to want to miss any of the action. Here on Pool 13, the Mississippi River. We just got out here. We're gonna try to catch a smallmouth, but I guess we'll use these. They look like shit, but I mean, we could try them. It's like some kind of chode made them. What do you think? I don't know, man. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the crankbait. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna waste my time. I wanna catch something. Fish already? What is it? First fish of the morning? Might be a drum. I think it is. <laughs> you think it's a drum? Yeah. Drum perch? It's a, oh, it's a. It is a smallmouth bass. Here we're throwing a smallmouth mate. That's a good sign. I know. Our luck. I knew it was going to be a drum perch. I did too. The way he was fighting, he was just kind of like. Yeah. You're going to want a 16 foot diving crankbait though. Not a bad little first fish for the day. Yeah, we just pulled out to the first spot. We were fishing on a wing dam, probably sitting about 10, 15 feet of water, casting towards the wing dam. And you guys could tell we got, how do you know? There was like 20 plus boats that just flew past us. They're all in a bass tournament. And we're just cruising along with our 90 horse Yamaha and all these guys with their 200s and 250s just flying past us. That was pretty ridiculous. But we're out here at spot number one. It is a cold morning but at least it is calm, no wind, and hopefully the fish keep on biting. Here we go. You got another one? Yep. I just put my phone down after talking to the camera. Right there in Jeez. the shallow. Small it's mouth. another smallmouth bass. Yep. You know what, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna see if we can double. <sighs> I'm gonna get closer to the shallow water. I wouldn't get closer. Just let it sink, but it drops right there. It's really shallow. That's another good, good one. Good one, dude. That's a good fish. You want him in the net? Oh, you got him. You just boat flipped a two and a half pound smallmouth bass. I'm gonna go ahead and dip uh, water on it. Put his, protect his slime coat. Good fish. Put him on that scale. See how long he is. I'm gonna guess like 16. You're right. Just at 16. Perfect guess. Look at that, guys. Show that camera. They are chewing. Look at the gut on that guy. If I had to guess, I'd say probably about a two pounder. 16 inch smallmouth. That's a good one. We fished this three weeks ago. It was hot. Not one single smallmouth. That was two smallmouth and three casts. Yeah, all we caught were Shit, drum we perch that. and a couple bass, a couple largemouth. I got fish. Finally hooked up. Feels good. It's not really moving. <laughs> what the heck? A big walleye. Get the net in case. It might be a walleye. Oh, yeah. He's fighting me good. This is a good fish. Hopefully it's a walleye. Want to be a big flathead or a big drum? I mean, I'd take a flathead.
Oh, big old bass. This dude is really fighting me. Is there a large one? A small mouth. It's a large one. Oh, that that's like a four mouth. pounder. Got light line. He's not gonna pull too hard. Let's go! That's a fat bastard. It's like a four pounder. More than that. Good job, mate. Watch your thumb. Oh, come down here. That's a four pounder. Freaking smack that crankbait. I thought it might have been a walleye. It was not moving very much at all. Completely choked it too. Going a DT6, a chartreuse color. He freaking whacked it. And he was fighting against that current. So I thought maybe it was a catfish or a walleye. It wasn't really fighting too much like a bass. Here we go, look at that. Just a chartreuse DT6. We're probably fishing about five to six feet of water and it's maybe a couple up on that break, but that's a nice bass. Official weight. Four pounds, 11 ounces. So just shy of four and three quarters of a pound. Let's send this fish back where he came. Came out four pounds, 11 ounces. And I just nicked his gill plate with that back shovel hook. So went ahead and kept it in the water. Took a quick measurement on the scale, put it back in the water. Swim off strong. So that fish is good to go. Hopefully we can get another big one like that. That was exciting. The crankbait I'm throwing on, I have 12 pound fluorocarbon line on here. This is a seven foot moderate fast action, a medium power and a five to four gear ratio reel. So very slow, keeping me from burning the bait too much. My hands are ice cubes now after that. What's the water temp? 53. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I got another one. This one's smaller though. Got another fish. I think it's another bass. Not quite the size as the last one though. Not near. <laughs> Look at this guy. Jeez. That's two in a row though. It's pretty cool. Pulled up to the second spot of the morning. We fished that first wing dam. You caught two smallmouth bass pretty close back to back. And then he got a snag, ended up going out to get that. And we lost the spot and then ended up not catching anything else after that. So now we're at spot number two, a separate wing dam. Caught all those fish on shark roof. Yeah, you're throwing a, a deep diver, a 16 foot diving shark trees crankbait and I'm throwing a six foot. Three casts in a row. I got another one. You're liking that color. Man, that one's better than the last one I just caught. Not by much, but. Yeah, look, he ate it head first too. It's a good sign. Look at that. That one's a little better. A oh, fat, that's a butterball. It's not very big, but very healthy looking dude. The conditions yesterday, it was like 20 plus mile per hour winds and the gusts were a lot more than that. Blew a lot of Northern cool winds. And this morning when we got out here, it was in the upper thirties. Compared to a couple weeks ago when we were out here fishing in this river, the fishing was all right. We mainly just caught largemouth bass and a couple of walleye, but we were expecting today to be better than that with the water cooling down. And so far, I mean, it seems like the smallmouth bass are a little more active because last time we only caught like one or two dinks. Yeah, I got a little one. It's a tiny one. Didn't really, couldn't really tell at first. But it's another fish. I My fourth. Color. The previous okay. color I had on was a perch color, but I switched to the chartreuse one. But I went from catching zero fish this morning, the first hour or so, to hooking three and three casts, and then just a few after, caught another one. So far, all we've fished are just two wing dams. We're probably gonna go explore some new areas here shortly after we get done fishing this spot. When we came up here over the past years, we've mainly just stuck to 
kayak fishing in the backwaters, but we just decided to bring the boat up more often. And I'm glad we did because it's always fun exploring new spots and finding new fish. And we got all day, it's not supposed to be super windy and it's gonna get up in the upper 50s. So it'll warm up a little bit. I feel like it should be pretty decent throughout most of the day. <laughs> Finally got hooked. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. I wonder if that color changed did it. Not terrible. It's a fish. Well, you went ahead and switched colors to a chartreuse like I'm throwing. It's pretty similar. Not the exact same, I don't think, but that's another fish. And the little butterball. Yeah, they both got that chartreuse yellow. Mine has brown on top, yours is blue. Very similar. I don't know, that might have done it. Before you were throwing more of a shad color. And we were... Oh, there's one. When we first got up here, I caught three and three casts. Hey, it's a bow fin. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a fish. Most of the fish I've been catching, they don't really hit it hard. It kind of just goes heavy, but I got fooled. That was not a fish. And I was saying, we've been working our way down this whole wing dam. And when I first got up to the swing dam, first couple casts, caught some good fish. And as we worked our way down, it kind of slowed off. The bite died off. I don't know. I think they just are all stacked in that first general area. Spot number two was a success. Caught, I think, like six or seven fish in total, including a four pound, 11 ounce largemouth bass. That was pretty awesome, but we're gonna give this spot a rest and we're gonna go to spot number three. Got one. There we go. Just pop it out of the snag. You really got one. Yeah, I got a fish. I'm hoping it's a nice smallmouth or a walleye. Smallmouth. Why, you seen it? No. He's fighting like a smallmouth. I, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Get the net in case. Yeah. It's a nice walleye. Is it? Yes. I just seen him. It's a walleye. Let's go, man. Let's go. Good job, buddy. There we go. First Wally of the trip, and this is on the Engineer Pro Set Soft Plastics. Use code NATEF. It'll be linked down in the description. I'm using the white paddle tail. This is a three inch paddle tail. Just the size I like to use for walleye, and that is a nice one. Let's put him on the bump board and see what he is. I'm guessing he's probably in that slot where you can't keep. Yeah. Yeah, we're fishing some heavy current right now. I got snagged, popped it out, and right after that, that's whenever I hooked to this fish. They gotta be 15 to 20, don't they? Yeah, yeah I guess what he is. 22. 21 inch walleye, one inch too big to keep. Look, that would have been a good eater too. Look how fat he is. Mm -hmm. That sucks, man. So last time we were here, we caught two walleye and they were both too big to keep. That sucks, but at least we caught a good fish. Mm -hmm. it I think this is like a 3 8 ounce jig head and I'm going to go ahead and retie because my line's frayed. But I'm using a little bit heavier of a jig head because we are fishing some pretty good current. Nice 3 inch white paddle tail. Classic. Gets the job done. And that is the first fish at spot number 3. We are fishing yet another wean dam. But we went how far up the river? A couple miles? Yeah. 
to a spot we've never been. We've drove past on the highway. We've seen a lot of boats out here before, and we've always thought it seemed like a pretty good, pretty good fishy spot. Sure enough, we got a nice walleye. I'm just working this paddle tail on the bottom, bouncing it along, letting it hit the bottom. And most of the time, just like the fish I just caught, I always feel them hit it as it's sinking back down right after I give it a pop. This is the soft plastic right here. Engineer Pro Sets. Use the code NATEF in the description below. Could you guys sell some at a 10% off discount? They work good. And I've caught many, many smallmouth bass on these type of lures. And I believe this is the first time I got to use these soft plastic swim baits. These are fairly new and I'm glad to get the first walleye on. I actually used these the other day and I caught some pretty nice bass using it as trailers. But that's the first fish I caught with this plastic just on a regular old jig head. Midday update, we are still on the river. It's going on noon now, and we've caught a variety of fish. We got largemouth, smallmouth, and walleye. So we got some nice multi-species action going on. We've been fishing pretty much wing dams, and they're all over the stretch of the river. Pretty much just fishing the upside of the wing dams with crankbaits and swim baits. And as far as the crankbaits, we've been fishing all different depths. We've been throwing 16-foot divers, 10-foot divers, 6-foot divers, eight foot divers and we've tried a few different colors different shad colors and chartreuse but chartreuse has seemed to be working just a little bit better you keep getting a lot of snags too which you can expect that whenever you're fishing crankbaits on rocks and it's kind of a pain getting these snags out whenever it's in like a foot of water because you got to drag your boat over that and you get hitting on the rocks and stumps and whatnot but we do got a lure retriever and we've been using a decent amount, so I'm just leaving it out. Definitely a good investment. It saved us a lot of money. I should have bought one years sooner than I have. I've only had it for like one year. Oh, dude, I just got smacked. Did you really? Yeah. On the fall. I hit the bottom reeled up first drop back down i just got smacked i mean we're sitting in 15 feet of water right now but it's probably more like 10 when i just cast it I really want to catch some on the jerk bait. I have yet to do so, but hopefully right now is the time to do it. It's fall, water's cooling off, bait fish are dying off. This is a good imitation right now to be using. I've caught many fish on jerk baits in the fall before. There's one. Finally got one on the jerk bait. It's just a little guy. And he is hooked not very well. Oh, never mind. Just came undone a little bit. Hey, it's a smallmouth. There we go. That's my first smallmouth of the weekend. Got hooks out safely. Just a wee little smallmouth bass. Like all pale he is. Jeez, that's cool though. Orange eyes, tiny mouth, but just a mini football. See you later, buddy. Feels good to get one on the jerk bait. Finally, hard. it is going on 5 p.m. and we are back on wing dams like we've been doing pretty much all day long. Just sticking to the hard baits, the crank baits, now jerk baits. All the hard baits we are using, they are all Rapala. Same thing with the jerk bait, it is a Rapala. I'm using a couple different deeper divers, a couple shallow divers, and they're all pretty much suspending. And I'm throwing this jerk bait on a spinning rod. I got 15 pound braid and a, I think it's a 12 pound monofilament leader. This bait dives down probably around four to six feet, which is the average of what we're fishing right now. The rod is a 7.1 medium, fast action. 
I like having the bright braid main line so I can see it very easily, but it doesn't matter whenever you have a clear leader on, the fish won't see it at all. Yeah, I got him. Number two, baby. This one actually hit it harder. That was like a large mouth. Small mouth. Is it really? really? No, no, it's a largey. It's cool getting large mouth and small mouth in the same exact spot. The other one about the same size. Different species though. There we go. You wanted that jerk bait. There's one. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I just went back to the jerk bait. First cast with the jerk bait. Tried the A-Reg, tried the crankbait. And I figured, you know what? Why don't I just go back to the jerk bait? Because I caught two fish on it. And we got ourselves a better size largemouth bass than the other two. And he's only hooked on one treble hook. Let's we'll see if I can flip him up with one hook. <laughs> Another f fatty. Hold him. There we go. One pounder. Short, fat guy. Well, that's enough of that. Got a couple of fish. We got maybe an hour or so left to fish. It is getting dark here shortly. As you can see, the sun is now pretty much behind those hills. I mean, it's a beautiful day out here. Nice and calm and cool. But we're gonna go to one more spot before we end the day.